Hello kids, how are you doing? I know that you're all doing good. This is the science worksheet um, solution and together we're going to make sure that all of your answers are correct. In this worksheet we are answering questions about details and logic. What you have to know before you start from the the definition of the terms flowering plants and pollination. Flowering plants are plants that grow seeds in their flowers. Pollination is the process of moving pollinators from the main What about the basic parts of a flower? Flowers are made of petals and petals, of a crystal and a stick. The crystal or the carpet is made of the uh, that consists of stigma, style, and inventory, and stigma is made of acrylic. Each one of these parts has a role or a job in plant production. Um, the petals attract pollinators, the sepals protect the body of a flower, the, the male reproductive organization produces the pollen uh, rays and the crystal or the carpet is the female with the protein that holds the objects inside and after the fertilization of these objects or as What are the different stages of the life cycle of the flower? Flowering plants grow, grow flowers. These flowers make seeds. Once plant What's a uh, conifer? The conifer is an evergreen tree with needle leaves and cones. So conifers do not grow flowers but they grow cones. What are evergreen trees? They, these are trees that never lose their leaves and they stay green all year long. What are some examples of conifers? Pollen cones are smaller in size than the seed cones. Since the function of the pollen cones, of the pollen cones is to produce uh, and make pollen grains, but the job of the seed cones is to hold the baby inside, which are the seeds. So the female cones must be bigger or larger than the pollen cones. Seed plants are conifers and flowering plants. None Non seed plants are ferns and mosses. Mosses are soft plants with no true roots, no true stems, no true leaves, and they grow in shady places. Ferns are uh, plants um, that are easy to recognize by their fungus. Um, what are some characteristics? They have their special food, which fungi are fungi, they are in plants, they are in animals. A mushroom is made of fabulous size and mycelium fruits. And most of the and mushrooms are organisms that we can use Let's start with question number one. It's a question number two on page 37. Give the name of the flower part that attracts butterflies. Petals are the colorful parts of the flower that attracts pollinators. The pollinators are attracted to their colors and their um, perfumes. What is the yellow powder in the stamens called? What do stamens uh, make? What do they produce? This stamen produces a yellow powder which is pollen. Indicate a part of the plant that changes the color of the plant. And here we're talking about plants that make So after uh, pollination, after 
and fertilization, and pollen grains, and meat, the ovules inside the ovary, and seeds. So after this, um, some flower is turned into fruits. So it's the flower that turns into the The leaves of acidor tree. Acidor tree is a conifer. So the leaves of this conifer are needed. Do they have wide broad leaves? Do they keep the leaves in winter? They never move their leaves? Or they grow in new leaves each day? So, what do you think? Ever green trees. This means that these trees stay green forever. Green forever. So, these trees keep their leaves in winter. They never move their leaves. The spruce tree. Is it a conifer? Is it an evergreen tree? Is it a cornbird tree? What do you think? The spruce tree is one of the conifers. It is a conifer. It is an evergreen tree. It stays green all year round. Since the spruce tree is a conifer, so it carries cones. What does this mean? All of the answers are correct. So, here we can check this out. Ferns reproduce by forming. Ferns are flowerless and seedless plants. They reproduce by spores. Ferns reproduce by spores. So, on the underside of the ferns, we can see. Spores, and when these spores are in the right places, they will grow into a new kind of plant. How are plants A and B similar? Both are trees. The first one is a flowering tree. A is a flowering tree. B, as we can see, some cones and needle leaves. So this is a color. Both have have broad leaves. This is wrong. Since B is a conifer, B has needles. Both make seeds like think about. A is a flowering plant. It's a flowering tree. There are flowering trees, grow flowers, and flowers make seeds. So yes, A is a seed. What about B? B is a conifer that grows cones, and conifer is grows seeds in So yes, both. Both form spores, this is wrong. So let me add right here B has needles. So this is wrong. A, they don't form How are fungi helpful to plants? Fungi are found as And we have two types. Poisonous fungi and edible fungi. Fungi are helpful plants since they help change the liquid cheese. Some fungi work on this, they turn the liquid Fungi are good our decompose. They decompose the plants. They feed on the nutrients coming from the plants. So they clean the they help us make bread, which is true. Since the yeast used in making bread and different dough is a kind of fungi. So, all of the above, all of these answers are correct. So, fungi are very helpful. What picture shows mosses? Is it A, B, or C? A is a... Flowering plant grown fruit. C is a plant with two stems, two leaves, so not A, not B, not C, so it's B. The figure B shows or represents mosses. Indicate when fungi become a problem for us. So, as I said, we have two types of fungi, edible mushrooms, and uh, 
dangerous mushroom so when they close But when they break down, then what we're going to do this is a benefit because we can since we are nature cleaner. They clean nature from dead bodies. Question number two. How did I know that this is an array of This is a sprinter. I know it's covering the tree. This is a sprinter. This is a sprinter. This is a sprinter. This is a flowering plant growing fruit. So, this plant grows. What about C? C shows mushrooms or fungi. Fungi do not be produced by seeds, by, but by spores. But in here they are asking us about plants and fungi are not plants or the process. Fungi are not plants. of the front and D is a nanty. Last question. Mushrooms depend on green plants. Mushrooms cannot be the output, so they steal nutrients from other plants. In order to find edible mushrooms, we should first look for the trees they live on. The milk cap grows under fine trees. I think I'm going to The milk cap grows under pine trees. The agaric grows under broad leaves, trees such as the oak tree itself. Here. What about the step? The step light, the oak tree, the spruce. More and much and you can see that we say what to do. Mushrooms and shades and colors. The more and mushrooms is the eight trees, the basin tree, and the apple. Okay, so uh, a mushroom should grow um, next to green plants since they are unable to make their own food. They suck or they steal nutrients from um, other plants. As we saw, the milk cap takes nutrients from the palm trees. The acreage set the world grows next to special plants. So we're done now. We're done now. Just a couple of sheets about the worksheet. Um, please feel free to ask. Bye bye.